welcome to Corky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite summer books. But before I get started, I have just a few like quick announcements to make. First off, as you probably noticed, my background has changed. Yesterday I got a bookshelf. I am so excited about it. I completely freaked out when I found it. So, so happy because now I don't have to stack all of my books on the floor anymore. So, for the time being, I think I'm going to film in front of this. So, if you like it and want me to continue to do so, then comment down below. And also, I'm thinking about doing a bookshelf tour sometime in the future. I'm not sure how soon because I have so many books and that would take a long time, but I would be willing to do it if you guys would want to see it, so comment down below if you want to see that. And I'm going to apologize for the weird lighting. I'm standing in front of a window and it makes me look all weird and stuff. So let's get started. I know that a lot of people like reading fluffy contemporaries during the summer, and that's what I like reading a lot of times too, so that's what most of the books on my list are going to be. But I did throw in a couple action books for the people that are just like, oh, I hate all contemporaries. It's okay, people. I feel ya. The first book I'm going to be talking about today is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This is a favorite on BookTube. So many people love this book. I don't even know if I know anybody that doesn't like it. And, like, that never happens. But this is about a girl named Anna who is sent to live in boarding school in Paris so sad, I know. And while there, she meets a ton of great people, has a ton of great experiences, and meets Etienne St. Clair, the hot British-American guy who also speaks French. So amazing. And this is just one of my favorite contemporaries. I reread it, like, last week, and I liked it even better the second time around. The next book is The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. Now, Nicholas Sparks is known for his just fluffy books. Some of them aren't that good, but there are some really good ones. This is actually a movie. I don't really suggest seeing the movie. I mean, it was all right, but Miley Cyrus is in it, and I really don't think she did well as the main lead. Everyone else was good. Liam Hemsworth was there, too, and he's hot. So, yeah. But this is about a girl named Ronnie who is sent to live with her dad in Georgia for the rest of the summer, and it's kind of their last summer together, and this book's really sad, but I know a ton of people say that this is their favorite Nicholas Sparks book, so if you had not read this one by him yet, or you're looking to try something by him, I would suggest picking this up. This is actually the first book I ever read by him. Next is Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. Sarah Dessen is pretty well known. I know most of the people I know have at least read one book by her, even people that don't read. She is one of my favorite authors, period. I love her books. This one is about a girl named Auden who lives with her dad for the summer and she's kind of an insomniac and while there she meets a guy named Eli and they kind of help put each other's lives back together. This is one of the better ones by her. It's actually in summer. It's in a beach town called Colby so if you haven't read this by her definitely go check it out. Next is The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants by Anne Shares. This is actually the series made into a movie. I think there's two movies. The first one was really good. But it is about a group of best friends who find a pair of pants that fits them all. And the stories kind of follow them through the summer as they go. This series isn't amazing, but I have reread it a couple times and I like it. You should check out all of these books, by the way. I think that kind of goes without saying. But So the next few books I'm going to talk about are books that I don't own, but I still like really enjoy I want to tell you guys about. The first is the Summer I Turn Pretty series by Jenny Han. This is about two families who spend the summer at the same beach house every year, except this year it's different. And all the stuff goes down. It's a really cute, fun read. The first book's okay, but... I recently read the second one. It was absolutely amazing. I have to go pick up the third one soon. And I think there's actually, I've heard a couple rumors that it's being made into a TV show. Comment down below if you heard anything about that, because I think it would be a great TV show. But that's just me. Next is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. This is not a summer book by any means. It actually takes place during Christmas, but I figure there's always that time during the summer where you're just like, oh my god, it is so hot out, why can't it be Christmas, why can't it be winter right now? So this book's kind of like a wintry fix. It's about a girl named Lily, and she creates a scavenger hunt in a notebook and leaves it in a bookstore, and a guy named Dash finds it, and they kind of are like skirting around each other, and they finally meet, and all this stuff goes down, and it was a really cute book. I liked it a lot. Next is How My Summer Went Out in Flames by Jennifer Salfato Doktorski. That's a mouthful. But 
I read this book recently as well, and I loved it. It was one of the funniest books I have ever read. It's about a girl named Rosie, and she sets fire to her ex-boyfriend's car and gets a temporary restraining order. And her mom makes her go on this road trip across the country with her neighbor, Maddie. This book was just hilarious to no extent, even from the description. I heard this about this book a couple months ago, and I was intrigued. And it has just a lot of funny, like, sassy, sarcastic one-liners that always make a book. And then the final, like, contemporary book is 20 Boy Summer by Sarah Ockler. Sarah Ockler is actually one of my favorite contemporary writers. I love her books. And this one is really sad, but it's about this girl who is in love with her best friend's brother and they kind of start a secret relationship except then he's killed in a car crash she kind of has to help her best friend get through this awful time so the next couple books i'm going to talk about are the more like action and fast-paced worse is the lightning thief by rick riordan Pretty sure everyone knows what this series is by now, but it's about a guy named Percy Jackson who finds out he's a demigod and a son of Poseidon. This is one of my favorite series of all time. I've loved it for so many years. I think I've been following it since sixth grade, so that's like like four or five years I've been with this series. And the companion series is really good, too. So if, don't, if you don't read anything else in the video, just go read this. I don't care that it's middle grade. Anyone can read it. I know adults that have read this and love it. Next is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. If you follow me on my channel or have been here for any time at all, you know that this is my favorite book of all time. Love, love, love it. If you want to hear more about it, I'll post the review down below. It's about this girl named Lena, and she lives in a society where love is considered a disease. The reason I think this is a good summer book is because all of the romance that's involved, it, it's kind of more of like a contemporary, even though it does have a lot of action, and it's really, really sad at the end. It made me cry so many times. It's really good. So the final book I'm going to be talking about today is The Mortal Instruments City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Everyone knows what this series is too. If not, you've probably been hiding under a rock. But it's about a girl named Clary who discovers she's a shadow hunter or someone that hunts demons and downworlders. This movie's coming out August 21st. They pushed the release date up two days. I am so beyond excited for this. You guys have no idea. I'm going to be like the craziest fangirl in the theater. I'm going to see it at the midnight premiere. So, so excited. I feel really bad, though, for whoever goes with me because I'm going to be freaking out. But I think people expect that from me by now. If they don't, I don't know what they're doing, but whatever. So, so those are just a few of the books that I suggest for summer reading. If you guys have any suggestions for me, leave them in the comments down below. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again soon.